Alright, much brew about nothing time. Playing some Dagger Burn in Standard. We're on the draw. I guess we try this. Definitely need help for it to matter. Pony has Legion's Landing. So it looks like they're token around. Well, Evolving Wilds go. See what the follow up is for our opponent. Glacial Fortress, so Abzan tokens. Crack this, grab a mountain. Opponent gets in with a vampire. Down to 19. Play Evolving Wild, pass the turn. Opponent's going to start upkeep scrying. Hopefully we can steal that treasure map before it flips. Opponent gets in for one with the vampire. Ooh, whiffs on land. Well, crack this, grab an island. Play Drowned Catacombs, and I think we just need to make sure we hit our land drop so we can steal this treasure map and our opponent doesn't flip it. Ooh, Trespasser's Curse 2. So discard Glintness Glintnest. Pass the turn. That works out. I mean, hopefully our hostage shaker just keeps living and then life is very good. But even if we just reset the treasure map, that's a pretty good deal. Bonet. No attacks. Still not finding their land. Well, we are certainly going to take hostage treasure map so our opponent can't can't keep scrying, can't flip it. Pass the turn. Annoying reprise for our opponent. Sure. We'll play the mountain, play treasure map, play trespasser's curse, pass the turn. There's concealed courtyard for our opponent. And uh, the hidden stockpile engine. Yep. Sex, scries, starts making tokens. Ferocidon is super good here, though, even though we can't protect it. Well, let's scry. Ooh, Sahili is actually super sweet here. So play Sahili. Copy Hostage Taker, take Hostage Anointer Priest, play Anointer Priest, might as well attack with our token Anointer Priest. <laughs> I love that synergy, it's so sweet. Pass the turn. The ability to copy with mana up to immediately play is pretty sweet. And this, without Anointer Priest, our opponent actually has some serious trouble, because... Sure, you can keep grinding with tokens. You can make tons of tokens, but you're losing life every time you do this. So while you're slowly building a board, you're also fairly swiftly losing to our Trespasser's Curse. And it becomes even worse once we get down, oh my god, once we get down Panharmonicon. Well, Panharmonicon, scry with Sahili, land, I guess, to the bottom, pass the turn, I actually think we just win next turn. If our opponent doesn't have a cast out or something, we just Ferocidon, Dousing Dagger, game. We can win out of nowhere. That is a lot of the power of this deck. <laughs> All right, that does not keep our opponent alive. So let's treasure map. Oh, another dagger? That also works. So I think we just Scry with Sahili, Hostage Taker bottom, opponent to 16. Do we flip treasure map? One, two, three. Wow. Yeah, I think we do. Flip treasure map. Panharmonic on bottom. Oh, we get to keep it, too. Run out for Ostadon. Play Dowsing Dagger number one. We'll get a few triggers. Actually, a lot of triggers. <laughs> yes, that is what we were setting up. That's it. That's it. Wow, we were going to deal so much damage. <laughs> why is it all right we win wow we were gonna deal a ton of damage there holy one two <laughs> yes 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 well tokens is a matchup i think we generally want to play four tokens what do we have lost legacies negates little worried about scarab gods so I think we can go down Fatal Pushes, go down Disintegrations, go up, I think we're going to keep the Veraska's Contempt to answer Scarab Gods, go up Lost Legacies, go up Negates, and what do we cut? We got to make one more cut. I guess we can just go down a Glint Nest. Bantu's Last Reckoning can be okay-ish. Duress could also, is probably also pretty good. Maybe we just... Maybe we go down... Uh, what do we go down? Hostage Taker is, like, kind of hit or miss. 
All right, let's bring in the duresses. Let's try it like this. We basically want to defend our Trespassers, Curses, and Frosidons. Man, all of our sideboard cards, but no lands to cast them. Ugh. All right, come on, scry into a land. No deal. All right. Uh, now things are pretty sketchy. Land? No. Four drop. Aye! Man, we have... <laughs> We have so many cards that are so good against our opponent's deck, but I don't know if we will get to cast them. Pone has Legion's Landing. And Evolving Wilds. Come on, land. Come on, land. You can do it, deck. Give us a black source. Preferably untapped. All right. Well, it's tapped, but it is a black source, so we can't complain too much at our deck. Swamp for our opponent. It's in with the Vampire. Do they have their engine? Not yet. Well, since we can't do anything else, let's Trespasser's Curse. Definitely expecting lots of counters. Opponent has Negate. Land for our opponent. And there's Anointed Procession. That spells bad things in the future. Not a land. Ugh. Yeah, we're going to have a hard time with this one. Well, curse our opponent. Come on, no hidden stockpile. No token stuff at all. How about that? Gets in with the Vampire. Down to 17. Opponent's up to 23. Another anointed procession. Ugh. All right. Well, I think this, I mean, yeah. This looks like how it ends. We really needed to get down something that turn. Now our opponent, yeah. Now our opponent can start countering stuff. Crested Sunmare. Okay. Well, that's a thing. That's a thing that just happens. If we could have played Ferocidon, yeah, that does it. Well, nice horse. Nice horse. Yeah, I mean, we just stuck on two lands. Eh, run it back. All right, we get to play first. And, all right, back to mulliganing into Oblivion. I guess we try it. Scry, keep the land on top, although it is pretty brutal since we can't crack this evolving wilds and then our evolving wilds has to get an island so we're not doing anything next turn legion's landing oh man play dragon skull summit past the turn well i guess it just maybe wasn't meant to be opponent gets in with the vampire crack evolving wilds grab an island play drown catacombs dress our opponent negate anointed procession champion of wits huh well i think we take anointed procession run out trespassers curse opponent does get to champion wits here which is not ideal pass the turn so our opponent's hand is going to greatly improve this turn there's a champion drains for one discards two useless lands i'm sure yeah sacred cat land gets in with the vampire we draw a land. Well, play Drowned Catacombs. Play Treasure Map. Pass the turn. Leave up Negate. Start scrying. Opponent goes attacking. We take three. Land. Well, let's scry. <sighs> An Harmonicon. That is one of our best combo pieces. I don't think we want it yet, though. I think we gotta wait. We draw land. So play Drowned Catacombs. Pass the turn. Maybe we should have just kept Panharmonicon. Opponent untaps. Goes attacking. Hits us. Down to 13. Plays a land. Anointer Priest for some more life gain. We do gain a life. And Sacred Cat. So they're going to flip their Legion's Landing. Well, let's Treasure Map. I think we keep Hostage Taker here. So untap. Scry with Treasure Map. Flip Treasure Map dress i think we leave that on top play hostage taker take hostage anointer priest yeah take anointer priest pass the turn opponent attacks with everything flips the legion's landing if they have a horse the nightmare has begun block the vampire come on no horse Another Anointer Priest. Okay, that's not a horse. We know they have Negate in hand. Whew, an opponent passes. All right, all right, we're in this. We're in this. 
So now we start by duressing our opponent. No cards in hand. All right, take the negate. Play Anointer Priest. Place a Healy Rye. Scry. Land to the bottom. Pass the turn. Leave up our negate. Opponent's going to keep making tokens. The thing we're afraid of is the horse. The horse is the card that I don't think we can beat. Also, Scarab God is potentially bad. But they might not be playing Scarab God if they're playing horses. We have negates to deal with the non-creature stuff. Or a negate. But we can't negate a horse. Although, we could steal a horse. Angel of Sanctions, ay. That is on our cannot deal with list. Taking Hostage Taker, not ideal. Opponent, oh, that was a good draw. Attacks with everything at Sahili. Well, Block Champion, even though this lets our opponent get it back. Oh, what a, what a top deck. Now we might be back to being in trouble. Plays the land. Come on, deck. Dousing Dagger. Well, Scry with Sahili. Dagger, bottom. Draw a card. Play the land. And yeah, I think that's, I think that does it. Opponent, kills Sahili. And now they get to refill their hand with Champion of Wits. Anointed Procession. All right, well, we're going to negate that. So not refilling their hand yet. So we're not dead just yet, but soon, very soon. More lands. Sack of Treasure. Trespasser's Curse. Well, curse our opponent. Makes a token. Plays Buyer Bluff. Pass the turn. Maybe we should have kept that Panharmonicon so many turns ago. Here comes the Champion of Wits to refuel. Opponent, learning how to tap mana, figures it out. So they do lose a life when it's all said and done, but they don't lose as much as we'd like. They get to find a fresh hand of cards. Discards a Sacred Cat, among other things. Big attack. Odd attack. Well, we'll kill a vampire. Opponent passes. Come on, big draw. More daggers. Sack the treasure. Play Champion of Wits. Discard treasure map. Discard land. Pass the turn. So I think maybe we misplayed, and maybe we just had to keep that panharmonic on. I figured we'd find another one by now with all the drawing and scrying we did, but does not appear to be the case. Opponent gets in with the angel. Down to 12. Makes a token. Main phase. There's the horse. Well, this is it. This is, this is it. We have to draw Panharmonicon off the top this turn. That is, that is how we win the game. Maybe. It's Evolving Wilds. And that does it. Alright, well, maybe we should have kept Panharmonicon on top. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, take a minute and click that subscribe button. It's a great way to support the channel for free, and you'll find the next video in the playlist right here.